Stamp with Amy K YouTube Live, and today I'm going to show you how I made a fun little card with the Sending Love Stamp Set Bundle, which is one of the new ones from the upcoming Stamp It Up uh, January to April 2024 mini catalog, and it's a really cute little bundle, and um, love that there are little dies that create the mailbox, and uh, there's also a stamp set that goes with it, so you can, if you prefer, you can stamp and color and die cut your mailbox. I actually chose to do the mailbox um, with kind of the dies, and I'll show you how I put that together in just a minute. It's really quick and easy, um, and the card actually should be really quick and easy for us to get done. And as I was pulling things together, I'm looking at it and going, I don't even know if I need to get my die cutting machine out because I die cut a bunch of the things ahead of time. So anyway, but hey, Karen and Carol, uh, and Karen, Karen is baking and watching today. All right, and hi, Pam, glad you're here, and Carol as well. Carol times two, so, um, so yeah, and hopefully you're... Uh, uh, getting all sorts of goodies made for the holidays, Karen. Can't wait. You know, I can almost smell them from here. <laughs> So, hey, Chris and Debbie, thanks for hopping in. So this is the card we're going to be making today. It is, like I said, really quick and simple. Um, probably the longest thing on it is kind of getting the... the um, basic white cardstock panel getting that inked with a blending brush and coastal cabana card or cardstock <laughs> coastal cabana ink. Um, so yeah, so all right. Uh, I see Nancy's here, and it uh, looks like uh, Debbie G, and so yeah, all right. New, new cookies to taste test. Well, you know, again, Karen, I've always volunteered. If you ever need a taste tester, I'll come right over. I know you bring me some, but... <laughs> If you need something in advance, you just let me know. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, hey, Susan, thanks for hopping in today. So this is the stamp set. Again, it's called Sending Love, and it is available now for demonstrators to pre-order from the upcoming January to April 2023 mini catalog. So if you're not currently a demonstrator, now is a great time to join because you actually get, um, you can pre-order from the upcoming catalog and get it in your starter kit. So it's pretty awesome. So this one, again, is called Sending Love Stamp Set, and then there's a coordinating uh, die that goes with it, also called Sending Love. So this one, I'll show you in a minute what I used all these dies for, but there's one here, and they're kind of piled onto this die sheet, but here, hopefully you can see the outline of it. This is the stamped mailbox, and then there's a little circle here that goes around that circle image. Um, there's one here that will cut out the envelope. There's one that cuts out the little bird. And yeah, I think that's about all. The stamped heart, I guess you can cut out as well. The rest of these are dies that you can kind of use to build a mailbox. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did today is I just built a little mailbox and it was fun. So hey, Myrtle, I am not saying a word. Your secret is safe with all of us because <laughs> I know none of us ever do that. So, all right. Uh, a couple things before we get going. Make sure that you're taking a peek at the Stampin' Up! online exclusives in the online store when you're placing your orders. There are some cute new ones. There's quite a bit of stuff in there. There's just the online. I went out and looked today, and there's like, I don't know, six pages or something of online exclusives. There are items that are obviously only available online, online exclusives. So take a peek at those. Um, make sure you're looking at them every time you go because things come and go out of the online exclusives. So every time you go place an order, make sure you're taking a peek at those. So, um, Hey, Barbara. You haven't had time to play with it yet. It's a cute one. It's a lot of fun. Hey, Sally, thanks for hopping in today. Um, and then don't forget the carryover list and the last chance product sale. The last chance products are only available while supplies last, and those are from the current September to December mini catalog. And as you can see, this sheet shows you there's a lot of stuff retiring out of that catalog. A couple of things are on sale. Most of it's just while supplies last, so make sure you're getting those last minute orders put in uh, before those are all gone for good. So, all right, I think that's about all I had since free shipping day was yesterday. Phew, that got a little wild and crazy, but other than that, um, um, yeah, I don't know if there's too much else in the world of Stampin' Up! to talk about right now. So, all right, so let's get started. This card, actually, I know I prefer the top fold card bases. So it's a, this one is cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half in the middle. If you prefer your standard book fold card, which is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter down the side, this card will work with either one. I just happen to have two of the top fold card bases cut. So that's why, I, you know, both of these are top fold. So... Um, hey, Julie and Karen, thanks. And Cynthia's here as well. And Quinn, thanks for hopping in. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, multi-purpose liquid glue here. And we are going to stick a piece of designer series paper. This is called Sunny Days, and it is a celebration item. So other side of it, it's got some really cute little cherries on it. Um, but this side is the one I wanted up, obviously, because I thought it went a little better with our mailbox scene here. 
um, piece of designer series paper is cut to about four and a quarter by five and a half and it should fit and cover the entire card front. Um, this paper is actually going to be available, um, the sunny days will be available starting on January 4th for free with an order of $50 or greater. It's a whole pack of really cute uh, designer series paper. It coordinates with actually another one of the bundles in the catalog that's got some clouds and sunshine and all that sort of stuff in it, so it's a cute one. All right, this is another piece of paper, and I'll flip it over so you can see the other side of it before I stick it down. But another piece of paper from that same pack, which is the Sunny Days Designer Series Paper Pack. And we're just gonna layer that right over the card front here, um, put a little stamp and seal on it. And this one's cut to about uh, five and a quarter tall, long, whatever, by about three and a half wide. So it's longer and narrower than what I typically do on a card front. Um, but this one is for a sketch challenge and that was kind of how the sketch was laid out. So, all right, main thing I'm gonna do here is just try to center it top to bottom and side to side. And if it's not perfect, that's perfectly all right. Just gonna stick that down with the stamp and seal. And then I'm gonna pull in my panel of basic white cardstock. This is cut to about three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So it's kind of, again, kind of an odd shape. Um, Hey, Roberta, and if I didn't say hello to Julie, I think I did. I can't even remember. Sorry. <laughs> so I've um, got a piece of basic white cardstock and Coastal Cabana ink, and I've got one of the blending brushes, and we're just going to take Coastal Cabana ink and just start blending it over the top of the basic white cardstock. And it is going to take a minute for me to get all of the ink on here and get it as dark as I want it to be. Um, but with blending brushes, as with most things when you're adding color, it's usually easier to start a little lighter and then um, add more and more layers of color rather than starting with a really dark and then going, ooh, that's too dark and it's hard to take the color away. <laughs> Even you know, as magical as the blending brushes are, um, you can blend some goobers away, but a lot of it, you might just have to flip it over and start again if you get a really dark clump of some kind of color that you didn't necessarily want on your, your panel, so. All right, and hopefully you can see it's starting to, again, I didn't want it to be a really dark, dark color on the background. I just didn't want it to be a stark white color either. So I mostly just added this, uh, you know, added the Coastal Cabana as a little bit of like a, a sky tone to it and try not to get it to be too, too dark. All right, I think we're almost done here. Just gonna add, do a little more swirling here towards the center, and I think we'll call that good. All right. Close that up, and then I'm gonna grab my pool party ink pad, which kinda needs to be re-inked. <laughs> so I do, it probably stamps a little lighter than yours might. Um, so you might get a little better image on it or a little darker image on it um, than I am. So this is a little group of four hearts, and it's from the Sending Love stamp set. And we're just gonna take that and randomly stamp it across the background. Uh, stamp some off the edge and a few here and there. And I know some of these are gonna be covered up by my mailbox, and that's quite all right. But it's again, easier to stamp them and have them be covered up than it is to not stamp it and then be like, oh, I wanna to try to wedge something in there and that's not gonna work. So I think we'll just stop there. <laughs> I was gonna add one more and I'm like, nope, I need to stop. So, all right, let me grab a bunch of die cuts that I did ahead of time. And I'll tell you which ones they are and I'll show you which ones they are so you can keep track of it all. So on my little die set here, again, these are the Sending Love dies and they coordinate with the Sending Love stamp set. I started by cutting two of the little shrub, I'm calling these shrubs. I don't know if that's what they are intended to be. That's, that's what I'm calling them. <laughs> so um, cutting two of these with, uh, or from Granny Apple Green cardstock. So. Um, oh, and I forgot to show you. I told you I was going to tell you. So the, the shrub die is this one in the die set. All right, and I'm going to grab some mini glue dots. The reason I'm using glue dots as opposed to um, liquid glue is that these have, hopefully you can see, it, they're kind of little slits cut in them um, when you cut the die cuts. And you can use liquid glue if you're really careful and are not, don't do it like I do all the time and end up with the globs of liquid glue. <laughs> and then it will ooze out of everywhere and it will not give you the effect that you're wanting when you're um, 
card is glued to the inside of your envelope and you know things like that happen sometimes when I get a little heavy-handed with the glue. So glue dots I find work really well for this type of thing where you're wanting to stick something together but not necessarily you know wanting to use a liquid glue on it. So all right then I'm going to take this little shrub and I think we'll put it down just a little bit lower than the other one. There we go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick on my uh, little mailbox post and that is this die from the Sending Love dies. And same thing, where it cuts the little slits in it, I'm gonna be using little mini glue dots rather than liquid glue um, to adhere it to the card front. So, hey Janice, thanks for hopping in if I didn't say hello already. Appreciate you being here. And, whoop, there we go. Get one more glue dot on here down near the bottom. And then I'm just gonna take that and just sort of stick it over the top of the little shrubs. And I don't know, again, I don't know if there's any precise measurement. I don't know, that's probably half an inch-ish, maybe a little bit more um, away from the edge. Then I have got two pieces of Lemon Lime Twist cardstock that I cut with this little die. So the way this die works is actually it only cuts one side. So it only cuts the little kind of the, the scrubby looking grass is the only thing that it will cut. So if your piece of cardstock is that big to start with and you lay your die across the top, it's just gonna cut the grass off the very top of it and then the rest of it will be you know, still solid. So you can trim it down to whatever size you want it to be. So that's one nice thing with this where if you're doing like I'm doing and you're gonna kind of layer them together that you can have one be a little bit taller and one a little bit shorter. It doesn't cut it at a specific size, if that makes sense. All right, and then we're gonna grab liquid glue and take a deep breath with me <laughs> and hope that I don't make a mess of it. And actually when I was sticking this together, the one thing that I realized is it's gonna overhang my basic white cardstock just a little bit. So I actually put the glue on the basic white cardstock rather than on the die cut because I was afraid if I went all the way across then I'd end up with gluey icky everywhere. And so I realized that if I put it on the basic white cardstock instead, then it would not hopefully ooze out everywhere and be all yucky. So, all right, now what I'm doing here is I am just, uh, it's gonna take a second because it's, um, I have to kind of smoosh it down on there. So I'm just taking it so that the grass is covering up anything white in between here. So I just wanna make sure that is all covered. There we go, I think that's stuck down well. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the second little piece of die cut grass here. And it does look like I need to mow the lawn around the mailbox, apparently. <laughs> the grass is looking a little shaggy. And then I'm gonna take the second little die cut piece of grass and we're just gonna stick it on over the top. And I'm trying to not line it up perfectly um, straight with the grass above it. So the die cut, I wanted it to look a little more, I don't know, offset, I guess is what you could say. And I'm gonna flip and make sure that, yep, I'm on the, still on the basic white panel and do another quick smoosh and make sure that's all squished down like that. Oh, thanks, Rosie, I appreciate that. Oh, it's a cute set, Myrtle. You're gonna have lots of fun playing with it. So, and thanks for hopping in, uh, Janice and Roxanne. I appreciate it, so. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and grab my little paper snips and do my very fancy fussy cutting, which this is about the only kind of fussy cutting that I do, and just trim off the excess. There we go. All right, get those out of the way. All right, so now we got the bottom of it all built. Now we're gonna work on our mailbox. So this die cut is actually this large one from the die set. And it cuts out, you'll notice there's a little hole poked in it right here when it cuts it out. So that is all pre-done for you with the die. So yay for that. And this actually where the hole is at is gonna be the front of your mailbox. So don't be confused. When I initially looked at it, I'm like, what the heck? Anyhow. So this is the front of the mailbox. So I'm gonna scoot that out of the way here and grab my little stamp that says mail on it um, from the Sending Love stamp set. And I'm gonna ink it in Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Hopefully I get it good and inky. And we're just gonna take that and we're gonna stick it on the mailbox right about there. And again, you can stamp it however, wherever you want. You can stamp it at an angle so you don't have to try to worry about it being straight or anything like that. All right, now this is not complicated. <laughs> so you're just gonna, there's a little score line here. And I, again, I don't know how well it shows in the video because lighting makes a, a difference, but as you can see, there's a little score line on there. So I'm just gonna fold it on the score line and line up 
the two edges here together. Then I'm gonna grab the bone folder that I forgot, which I probably should have grabbed that. Let me grab my bone folder. <laughs> so, Thankfully, it's almost in arm's reach, but it wasn't quite. Um, this is Petal Pink cardstock, which I probably totally forgot to say. All right, so we got that. And then, actually, before I go on any further, I realized I need to put my little flag on here. So this is cut from Pool Party cardstock with the little flag die. And again, you'll notice there's automatically a hole that is poked in the, the bottom of the flag by the die. And I'm going to grab one of my round and square brads which I picked a round one and a white one because they were little and cute and white. If you prefer the black, you could put a black one on there instead. There are little little round black ones in here. There we go. Um, so if you like the look of the black one instead of the white one, you can do that. And there's a whole pile of them in there so you can make lots and lots of these. So I'm just gonna take that little brad and slide the little prongs through the, the um, flag on the envelope and then slide it through my little mailbox and then I'm gonna open up to the inside and then flatten out my little um, prongs for the brad. There we go. So that's all you do on the inside is just smash it down flat. And then your little flag goes up and down the mailbox. So, which I thought was really cute. <laughs> so, all right. So this actually, for a second, it, it took me a minute on this one because I looked at it and I'm like, this does not look right. This shouldn't be hanging out like this with this big chunk down here. I thought I was done making the mailbox. And then I realized that this is actually, there's a score line right there. Again, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's designed to fold closed here and it wraps right around. So then it looks like a regular, like the mailbox should look. All right, so I am gonna take that and open it back up again. And if you're really good with liquid glue, which I am not, um, you can use liquid glue, I'm sure, to adhere this together. But since I tend to make a huge mess with liquid glue, I'm just using stamp and seal. And, and then I'm gonna smoosh it down, rub it together with stamp and seal in our little mailbox with the movable flag is all put together. So, hey Kelly, thanks for hopping in. And it is a really cute little set. Like I said, I had a lot of fun when I was building the, the mailbox. Um, if you wanted to, you could actually secure inside the mailbox, you could put a little adhesive around here if you wanted to. I left mine not stuck together on the inside because I knew I was going to be sliding a little package inside the mailbox and I didn't want to accidentally too much, but put too much glue on it and then end up with the mailbox didn't work right with the little package and all that kind of thing. So that is why I left it unstuck together. And then I'm just taking some little glue dots and hey Daryl, thanks for hopping in today. Glad you're joining. So are you done with school for this year? I feel like you've got to be getting close to the end of the year. I know um, my older daughter is done for the school year. The younger one's got another couple of days next week and she'll be done with school as well. So, well, I shouldn't say for the year, for the, you know, not school year, school year, but, you know, end of the calendar year. All right, so I've got glue dots kind of stuck all over the back of my mailbox. And then I'm just going to take it and set it right on top of the post and stick it down like that with the little glue dots. So we got our little mailbox, got the little flag that goes up and down, so you can set it however you want to. <laughs> so, uh, three more wake-ups. Oh, man. Yeah, you sound like my younger daughter. My older one um, actually is doing her last year of high school at a local community college to get some of those college credits out of the way. So she got lucky in her last class. Last exam was yesterday. So, all right. Last die cut, well, second to the last die cut that I've done on here, um, is this one. So this is this cuts a little envelope when you fold it all together. And I've cut it from Poppy, from Poppy Parade cardstock. And I'm just going to fold that together. So again, there are little score lines all around the edges here. Just fold it in on the score lines. And then you'll notice that one side is cut flat like an envelope would be, and one is cut pointed. So this is gonna be the top flap of your envelope and this is gonna be the bottom of it. So we're just gonna fold it all together. So, oh, thanks, Julie. Did somebody ask about the brad? Sorry if I did, if I missed a question, but yes, the brads are, they're cute. And yep, there are tons of them in the little package. So I'm just gonna use glue dots here and stick this together. Again, if you prefer um, liquid glue, you can certainly use liquid glue, but I'm just putting little glue dots on each of the flaps and I'm gonna put another one on the bottom flap here in the center. And 
I got two years of college that way. Yeah, she's not going to quite get two years of college, but she'll get a lot of kind of those basic classes that are kind of the silly ones. <laughs> I shouldn't say silly because they're all good, but you know, maybe not as um, vital. She gets to do some of those ahead of time and get the credits checked off for those. So yay. All right. So there we go. Got the top flap here folded. And I'm also just going to glue that shut because that's going to be stuck down um, to the card front anyway so nobody's going to see it but this is what the little envelope looks like when you get it all put together so you don't have to glue it shut like that if you don't want to you can leave the top open and you know tuck a little note in it or something fun like that if you wanted to but this is the side that I'm using so um, then I went ahead and pre-cut from basic white cardstock this little skinny bow so that is the die that cuts the little skinny bow and before I cut it I put adhesive sheets on the back of it now, I know these are, they can be kind of a pain to get them undone or get them, you know, started to, to peel off. But I find that if I use either the tip of my paper snips or the point on my um, take your pick tool or the tip of the tweezers, like I just did there, that helps me to pick the backing off of these. So when you use the adhesive sheets, the way they work is you stick, the adhesive sheet is sticky on both sides. So you stick one side of it to the back of your cardstock run it through your die cutting machine, and then you peel the backing off and it turns your die cut into a little sticker, which is really handy when you've got little skinny die cuts like this, um, because again, those of us that are liquid glue challenged, I would have myself and everything else glued to this if I tried to <laughs> use liquid glue to put that little skinny bow on. Um, so the adhesive sheets, just stick it right to the front of the little envelope package, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to use a couple more little glue dots here and I'm gonna tuck this inside my mailbox and have it kind of be hanging out the mailbox like you got a little package in there. So that's it. <laughs> and then I've got a couple of the, um, these are the adhesive backed sequence trio and I'm gonna use the white ones on here. Um, so they're up at the top of my card and I'm just gonna kind of randomly stick about five of them or so around the mailbox area. So one here, we'll do Maybe another one up here. And then I think we'll put that one there. Stick another one of the bigger ones here. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll put a smaller one up like that. All right. So I'm going to smash those down and make sure that they're stuck well. And they, you can't see them a lot, but it just adds a little bit of sparkle to the card front. And I apologize, my heat just turned on. I was hoping I'd get through the video without it, and I should have shut it off completely. <laughs> but... Um, so sorry about the howling, I'll try to get done quickly. All right, and then I'm gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals and we're just gonna stick this on the card front. Apparently it's cold today in New Jersey. At least my office is cold today, so. It is a fun little card and it's a fun little set. Like I said, I can't wait to make some more. <laughs> this will be a cute one for, I don't know, new neighbors or welcome in somebody to a group or you know even just I think this one I actually didn't stamp a sentiment on the inside of it I'll show you what I did on the inside I just stamped the little envelope a couple times on it in pool party ink so this little envelope comes from the sending love stamp set and I stamped it I don't know five or so times on the basic white cardstock panel for the inside of the card and this measures about uh, four by five and a quarter and maybe put another little one there. And I didn't put a sentiment on it because I actually, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it as a Valentine or a welcome to the group type of card or just a saying hello kind of card. So I actually intentionally left the inside of it without a specific sentiment on it because like I said, I thought it'd be perfect for Valentine's Day or, you know, welcome to the team or, you know, anything like that. Welcome to a new neighbor, whatever you want to use it for. All right, but you can add in whatever sentiment you want on the inside for whatever you're gonna use it for. So stick that on the inside and close it up. And that is gonna be it for the card. So this one is really quick and easy, um, mostly just die cutting and uh, sticking a few things together. Other than that, it's, you know, there's not a whole lot to the card, not really much stamping at all, just a little sentiment background and then the little envelopes on the inside. So super quick and easy. Um, so, all right. Well, thanks everybody for joining today. All the details for this card will be posted on my blog tomorrow, which is stampwithamyk.com. And I will add a link directly to the blog post tomorrow morning, uh, which is Saturday around eight o'clock Eastern time when it goes live. So you'll be able to find all the measurements, 
all the colors I used. Um, unfortunately, because this, the stamp set and dies are not available yet to order and the background paper isn't, the specific products won't be, you know, clickable links, but all the details, all the cardstock cuts will all be there so you'll be able to reference back and go take a peek at it. So, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to have to take a look at the set, Sally. <laughs> it's really, really cute and a lot of fun. And like I said, I don't know why I was just so... I loved the little flag on the mailbox. I thought it was just too cute and I couldn't help myself. I moved it up and down like 10 times. <laughs> so, all right, thanks again for joining. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will plan to be live around two o'clock Eastern time on Tuesday. And then again, uh, two o'clock Eastern time on the following Friday. And then I think between uh, Christmas and New Year's, I'm probably not gonna be going live. But up until then, you can plan to see me at the normal time. So thanks everybody for joining today and uh, have a wonderful weekend and we'll chat with y'all soon.